about a month or so ago, you saw me make this American Bladesmith Society journeyman performance test knife. I did the complete test here in my shop. Rope cutting, two by four, and bending at 90 degrees. Of course, I've straightened it back up. It's not completely straight, but close. But now I'm going to take my actual test. So I had to make another blade, just like it. This one's just a little wider, a little bit bigger handle. But I'm headed up to my friend J.W. Randall's Hammer Inn. He's a master bladesmith, and I'm going to conduct my performance test. As you can see, they're pretty close. This is the new one, a little bit more polished. Like I said, a little wider handle, a little wider blade. That's something I learned from making that first knife. Hopefully this one will perform like that other one did. So I'll see you at the shop. Let me let's for safety's sake now, y'all pay attention. You got a lanyard on your knife and all you're good? Okay. All right. You get three attempts at the rope. Okay. Oh, okay. Yep. Ready? Yes. One's all it takes. You got any hair left? Your knife maker don't have hair on his own. <laughs> Something got popped. Shed a little bit, didn't he? I see something. That must be your hair. He cut a notch in it with his hair. He did. He's that tough old wire he did. <laughs> Edge is good. Yep, edge is good. <coughs> After this is done, y'all, uh, I want y'all to feel this edge. So just close your eyes. You know, we're gonna dull the blade here in a minute before he bends it. But anyway, feel. You know, once you just feel the edge, feel the thickness of it. So you'll have an idea about what it takes. You just saw the abuse that he put that through. It, it took him an hour and 13 minutes to chop two <laughs> <laughs> uh, But. Uh, no, I'm, I'm messing with you. He knows I love him. Yeah, I do. But uh, anyway, so yeah, I mean, he just put it through some serious <coughs> abuse, and it's, it's, you know, it's just doing what it, it needs to do. You know, it's still, everything's there, no no discrepancy whatsoever. So yeah, I guess. But it ain't finished. So it, it'll roll hair, hair and a little bit of a little ashy today, huh? Yeah, JD, it's, uh, you, you got three more makers to go. You better say something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> see if someone has it. Give me a ticket. I'm, I'm going to try. Tony's getting ready. ready. His <laughs> arms are slick, Look, man. He... <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's knock the edge off that. You don't have to get crazy with it. Just knock it off. <laughs> what you want. You want that so that you have the same amount of mass up here where you're trying to bend that. So if you had a knife that was run off into a long clip or whatever, and you were, 
you only had three quarters of an inch of blade where well, you're cheating yourself, you know, and what you've got in the vise to bend. That makes sense? So he's, this is perfect. This is what you want to be. So hopefully it's gone. I'll say it. I'll you just say I ran. But he's in this country of Iran, and he sends his regards. He's a knife maker, and he's very limited in his resources. I've been sharing things with him. Anyway, he sends his best. I send you some pictures, and it's just a small world. Ready? Yes, I'm video. I'm on. I'm on. I'm at the Ricasso. You be where you want to be. All right. Okay. Go. Yes, sir. Whoa. That's it. That's, it. That's it. That's it. That's it. You know what? Somebody else. All right, y'all. This this knife bent nice. You see how it doesn't didn't take a hard set right at the point we were bending. So you see how uniform that is. The reason it's that way is because there's equal mass all the way across the spine. So it's utilizing the full strength of that blade and allowing that flexion to happen over the entire length of the blade and not in one point. So if you were thick, thick spine back here and you're transitioning this down into a distal taper, which we do on all our knives, right? But not for this particular test. Then you would wind up having a hard set. It would have a hard bend in it, you know? So good job, buddy. Thanks, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. You bet. You bet. Now, now the hard work starts. That was a lot of fun. Now the hard work's going to start. But here's a look at the knife. Just wanted to go over a couple things that I learned from this test. Now, I created a video a couple months back, a few months back, doing this whole build, one just like it, where I completely built the knife, the heat treating, the whole nine yards, tested it right here in my shop. So you can go back and look at that video. I'll link it at the end of this one. But when I made this knife, after that first test knife, I made it a little wider and I made the handle a little bigger. But the handle was still not big enough. I still had issues holding it during the chop. It was a little light. It could have been a little wider. The blade's about a little over an eighth. It could have been a little thicker just to make it easier. So the chopping took me three times as long as it should have. So I wasn't really worried about the cut of the rope or the bend test. What I was worried about was the chop and it shaving afterwards because the knife has to shave after the chop. And that was a lot of abuse and it made it through the shave. So I was grateful for that. But just a few tips that I learned. I had a great time. Now I have to build my presentation blades five of them. I've got just a few months if I plan on doing that this June at Blade Show. So I need to get busy. On the next few videos, I'll likely be building my presentation blade for the channel. So hope you get to see some of those and we're going to see you on the next one.